New tonight, district council members have taken a stand in the controversial eviction of Corpmasters Barry from the tennis center that she founded. A Sam Ford tells us they did not side with the mayor. Since Mayor Adrian Fenty moved last month to boot former D.C. First Lady Cora Berry from the Southeast Tennis Center she founded, he's lost a round in court, faced criticism from the Washington Post editorial, and today received a legislative smack from the D.C. Council. We have 12 voting in favor and one abstention. The abstention was Barry's estranged husband, Marion Barry, who recused himself. The council approved an emergency bill to pull the teeth out of the law Fenty's trying to use to evict Barry from the center where she's combined tennis instruction with education. Members complain the D.C. government deals with a number of nonprofits whose corporate status, like Barry's, temporarily lapsed. There has been evidence that has been brought forth to me where there have been similar situations that have been treated quite differently. Out there in the public, not many people were up on the dispute, but for one who was... And no disrespect to the mayor, but I think this was not called for. And I, and I definitely support the city council. One council member took it further, chiding the mayor for twice snubbing civil rights icons Dorothy Hyde and Maya Angelou, who wanted to talk to Fenty about the tennis center. We uh, owe them as a city an apology that we can't take 15 minutes or 20 minutes out of our day to spend time with two women has done so much. The measure passed on a voice vote. None of the mayor's traditional allies spoke up. What might be interesting is if the mayor actually vetoes it, what will be the vote then? Reporting from the John Wilson Building, Sam Ford.